Welcome to Victory Churches of Asia online worship service. We are so glad that you could join us today. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and share this video. Also, tag your friends and family in the comment section below. Get connected, stay connected. Join a care group today. Message us through VCA Philippines Facebook page. We are excited about what God can do through Project Hebron Building Project. More details about this is posted in our VCA Philippines Facebook page. As we start our service today, let us open our hearts and invite God to encounter us today.
Oh, your mercies never fail me All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God
There's no prison wall you can break through, no mountain you can move, all things are possible. There's no broken body you can raise, no soul that you can save, all things are possible. Dark side, you can light it up.
we swallow we we'll crumble in the chains of the ground. We got a revival, pour it out, pour it Trust God with your finances? Genuine faith is an action and results in obedience. If you can trust God with your tithes and offerings, then He will prove to you that not only will He provide for your needs, you will in fact have an abundance. Malachi 3 verse 10 says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will not be room enough to store it. Do you want to walk in the fullness of God's blessing upon your life? Then try to give and see how God works. Believe God, trust God, and put faith into action through your giving. You will be amazed at the results. You may send your tithes and offerings to the following accounts. Ways to give. Bank transfer, BDO. Metro Bank. PayPal. Gcash and Paymaya Thank you for faithfully giving your tithes and offerings to the Lord. May God bless you according to His glorious riches. Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. 
sa kabila po ng mga kaganapan, alam natin yung blessing ni Lord ay ramdam po natin. So let, let us expect for the best tonight po sa ating midweek worship service. Exacto po, 18 months na yung lockdown since March 15 of 20 and 20. And uh, ngayon po ay may mga bagong uh, variation ng tawag. But just the same, I restricted pa rin yung movement ng lahat, especially din po sa ating mga churches. So may mga pastors po na sobrang discouraged na and even depressed dahil po sa mga lockdown, kahit sa personal Christian life and ministry. I pray tonight po that uh, we will receive a message from the Lord that would encourage us. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, ang sabi ni Apostle Paul, Therefore, since through God's mercy, we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. So, yung ministry na ipinagkatiwala ng Panginoon kay Apostle Paul ay napakalaking biyaya para sa kanya. So, despite sa lahat ng pangyayari, he was not discouraged, he was not giving up sa lahat po ng pressure na kanyang na-experience, siya po ay humahawak sa pag-asa doon sa ministry. Going to verse 8 of the same chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we are hard-pressed on every side but not crushed. Kabi-kabila ang pagpahirap sa amin, ngunit hindi kami nalulupig. So he fought well. Talagang lumalaban Tayo man ay iniipit, ginigipit, kabi-kabila. Sana wag tayong magpalupig bilang simbahan, bilang mananampalataya. Perflex but not in despair. Kung minsay, nag-aalin lang kami. Ngunit di nawawalan ng pag-asa. Imagine Apostle, the great Apostle Paul. Ay minsan siya po ay nagda-doubt sa hirap ng dinadaanan but never losing hope. Sana po wag nating haya, payagan na yung ating pag-asa ay mawala. Pagkatapos po, but uh, persecuted but not abandoned. Inuusig ngunit hindi nawawalan ng kaibigan. So dito po natin mak makita yung totoong kaibigan Totoong kapamilya, sa kabila ng lahat ng hirap na dinadaanan natin, they will never abandon us sa ating sito. Struck down but not destroy. Bumagsak man kami ngunit dili, hindi tuluyang nalugmok. Naranasin nyo na bang mag-doubt for the past 18 months? I admit, yes. But I didn't lose hope. I pray the same with you. You don't allow your hope to die down. This is the moment we lose our hope. Wala na pong reason for, for living. Ikaw ba ay bumagsak? Apostle Paul, bumagsak pero hindi tuluyang na ilugmok. We will rise again. The title of God's message tonight is Living in Hope. Mabuhay na mayroong pag-asa. What can living in hope do in our personal lives, in our ministry, in our family, and in our church? In our text, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, I will share three things. But before we go to the message, let's join me in prayer. Father, we come to you tonight. I pray that you will give us hope in our hearts and in our spirits. Help us to continue to live with hope in our hearts, knowing God that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, Holy Spirit, move mightily in our homes, wherever we are, those who are traveling, as family, whatever our age, Lord, we pray 
that He will speak your word to each one of us. Be exalted, be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Living in hope. What can living in hope do sa ating mga buhay? First, it will enable us to live in our inner strength. Sabihin po natin, inner strength. We draw from the strength that we have from within. Ang taong may pag-asa ay malalim ang hugot. Lalo na po ngayon. Mahirap po ang ating sitwasyon, mahirap po yung ating kinalalagyan. Ang taong malalim ay may paghuhugutan niyan at hindi po give up. Sa buhay po natin, it requires endurance. And sometimes po yung ating outward strength ay hindi po sapat to face the pressures we are facing in life. We have to draw from strength within. Verse 16 of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. We do not lose heart. Kahit na ginigipit, kahit inuusig, kahit na minsan nawawala ng pag-asa, kahit na minsan bumagsak. But never losing hope. Bumabangon. Kahit na sa panlabas ay we are wasting away yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Yung panglabas, itong itsura, tignan po ninyo yung inyong itsura outwardly, physically. I'm talking of our physical uh, continents, our physical attributes. At alam natin, this, this body is subject to pain. This body is subject to sickness and even to death. And nakakapagod po, bilis pong mapagod ang katawang lupa. Na minsan pag napagod ito ay andali pong mag-isip na gumibap, andali mag-aalinlangan. At minsan sa sobrang pagod, tayo ay nahihilo at uh, minsan bumagsak na po at nawawalan ng pag-asa. But we know that we Christians are not just on the outside, but we are more on the inside. We are not just physical, but we are more spiritual. God looks at us on the inside. Amen. It's good po sa mga panahon na to. As we put our hope in God, let's look on the inside of us and draw strength from within. Sabi ni, ni God kay, kay Samuel, but the Lord said to Samuel, first Samuel 16.7, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at, People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So Samuel was looking do sa mga kapatid ni, ni King David. Physically, talagang pasado, malakas. Pwedeng maging hari ng Israel, but they were all rejected. And si David po ay nakalimutan na. Pero nakita ng God yung puso ni King David. A man after God's own heart. Napakalaki po ni Goliath at Tinoton po, dinidefine niya yung armies of the living God. He defied God for so many days. Mabuti na lang dumating po si King David. He was young. He was fragile. So, napakahina po pagtignan natin physically si King David because he was so young. But on the inside, he was so big. He was bigger than Goliath. Because on the inside, he draws strength from within. Yan ho, yung kay David, the rest of the armies of Israel, they were too scared of Goliath. Ang lalaki po nila, ang lalaki po ng mga kapatid ni King David. So maybe that was the reason why they were rejected by God to be king of Israel. Because on the inside, they were scared. But David, God looks on his heart. And his heart sought after God. His heart was after God. Hallelujah. And he was so strong. 
He was so mighty. He was so big. Bigger than Goliath. Because God draws from, he draws strength from within and he defeated Goliath. And he became a successful king because he looks on the inside. Alam natin yung isang incident, sinunog po yung ziklag and uh, his mighty men were thinking of stoning him to death. Sa sobrang lungkot. At alam ni King David, kung kanino siya magdodraw ng strength, he strengthened himself in the Lord. Sa mga panahon po na to ay we have to look on the inside. We have to strengthen ourselves in the Lord. Kaya nga sabi ni King David, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Meron pong babaeng four feet tall at uh, siya po ay bedridden dahil sa nagkasakit po siya. So, siya po ay sobrang payat. So, nagkatao naman po na sunog yung neighborhood. Nalaman ng babae na to. Bigla pong bumangon yung babae na matagal na pong hindi nakabangon sa higan at binuhat po yung refrigerator at tinakbo po palabas ng masikip po na iskinita, masikip na bahay sa second floor pa po. Tinakbo ng babae. <laughs> Grabe, no? Hindi maisip nung babae that she had that strength from within. Gumagana yung adrenaline ni nung babae po na to. So nabuhat mo niya yung refrigerator. Guys, higit pa sa adrenaline, mayroon tayo within. We have the spirit of the living God residing inside us. That we can draw that strength in order to face our struggle sa mga panahon po na to. Physically man po ay napapagod po tayo. Eh. And uh, pag natulog tayo sa gabi, we are being renewed. Pag, pag tayo po ay nagpapahinga. Pero may pulot sukdulan po yung katawang panlupa na talagang bumibigay na po. Pero ang sabi po, we are being renewed day by day. Inwardly, in our spirit, we're being revived. We are being renewed by the Lord. Ang sabi nga, Psalms 103 verse 5, Who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Sabi nga po, kalabaw lang ang tumatanda eh. Tayo po, spiritually, on the inside, as the days goes on and on, we become younger and stronger every day. We just learn to how to renew our spirit from within. We have to feed our spirit. We have to have that spiritual discipline. Nung simula po nung lockdown last year, ang dami pong sa ating church, na nagsishare na the more na nakapag-spend silang mag-reflect sa word ni Lord, nakapag-pray, nakapag-worship. And yun po ang kailangan natin in order to revive, in order to strengthen, in order to renew our strength from within. Yung ating Bible reading, yung ating prayer, personal worship, yung pagdadalo po natin sa church. Guys, kahit online, live streaming, parang Umaaten po tayo face to face. Sana ganun tayo ka-discipline. Ganun tayo ka-prepared like tonight. You are so prepared. Ang iba sa inyo ay naligo pa talaga ulit. Nagsuklay at nagdamit para makadalo. And God, you, hindi tayo bibiguin ng Panginoon. Because if we seek God with all of our hearts, we shall find Him. Do you believe that? Greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. Sabi ni, pa, ni Apostle Paul, Philippians 4, I can do all things through Him who gives me the strength. So yung mga alagad po, Pedro, James, John, 
And the rest po nung 11, 12, kasama si Matias, sila po ay pinag-uusig ng grabe po. Sila po ay kinukulong, pinamahirapan ng sobra. Acts 4 verse 13, When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled or ordinary men, they were astonished and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. The courage, the boldness, the fighting spirit within na nakita nila, wala pong kinakatakutan. Sabi nila, they would rather obey God than men. Hindi po sila takot kahit patayin sila. Para yung tatlong kaibigan ni, ni Daniel. Sabi niya, we will not bow down to you, Nebuchadnezzar. We won't because we know that God will save us. Our God will is able to save us. And even if God won't save us, we will not bow down before you. We will continue to worship God. At hindi po sila binigo ng Panginoon. Guys, sa mga panahon po na to, kailangan po nating maging matatag, maging malakas from within. Like Paul. Like Peter, James, and John, and the rest of the disciples. Ang sabi ni, ni Napoleon Bonaparte, ang sabi niya, Courage isn't having the strength to go on. It is going on when they don't have the strength. This, I think the same is true with hope. Yung, you go on and on and on. Even though you don't have that strength left. As you continue, yung last ounce of your courage, last ounce of your strength, doing the impossible, Hindi tayo ibibiguin ng Panginoon. Sabi ni Arnold Schwarzenegger, sabi niya, Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardship and decide not to surrender, that is strength. Don't give up. Don't surrender. Because that is strength. Even though you are doing sabring of surrender, giving up, and yet, you don't get up. You continue knowing that God will not fail you. Sabi ni Chris Bradford, sabi niya, Anyone can give up. It is the easiest thing in the world to do. Do you believe that? But to hold it together when everyone would expect you to fall apart. Now, that is the true strength. Anong nakita mo yung tao na parang Wala namang kalaban-laban ang payat-payat. Hopeless to continue to fight. Yun po ang ine-expect. But you put it together and still continue to fight. And in the end, you win. You are victorious. We can be victorious. We have to draw that strength from within. Sabi ni Bob Marley, you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. How strong you are. Sometimes we don't know. But sweetheart, I have to fight for you. I have no luxury to give up. I have to be strong for you. My children, I have to be strong for you. Church, I have to be strong for you. I have to be strong for the leadership. Do you know how strong you are? Continue to fight and not giving up. Because the only choice we have right now is to be strong for our loved ones. It's to be strong for God's work. Yung katawang panlupa po, this would die. They can kill this earthly body, but no one can kill our spirit. Malalo na sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, matakot kayo sa taong kayang pumatay ng inyong katawang panlupa at kayang patay ng inyong spirito. But guys, this spirit 
is fighting. You draw that strength from within. Allow God to renew our strength, not just physically, but most of all, spiritually. Kaya nga, sabi ni Apostle Paul, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The times of refreshing. Sa mga oras na to, God wants to renew us. As God refreshes our physical body, most of all, internally, that spirit within, gusto ni Lord patuloy na lumalakas, lumalaki. So we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our spiritual lives. Secondly, not only that living hope enable us to live doon sa ating inner resources, that inner strength, it also enable us to live in the incomparable glory that awaits us. Yung exciting po yung nilalaan ng Panginoon sa atin. That's why we don't give up. Yung ating pag-asa ay nakapukul po doon. Verse 17 of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So bahagya, light and momentary po yung trials, struggles, kahit na naka-18 months na yung lockdown, sabi ni, ni Apostle po, ito ay light, ito ay momentary, ito ay panandalian. And it is achieving for us an eternal glory that far out weights them all. Gano po kabigat yung dinadaanan, yung struggle po, yung trial na kinakaharap natin ngayon. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Matthew 11, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. Pagod na po ba kayo? You are weary at nabibigat ang lubha and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. <laughs> yung comparing to eternal inheritance, eternal reward, Light lang po yung, yung kinakaharap natin. And not only it is light, it is momentary. Ito po ay panandalian lang. Ang sabi sa Psalms 30 verse 5, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Guys, yung weeping, it will only stay for the night. Hallelujah. Sandali lang yun. It's just for a moment. Kahit 18 months na po yung lockdown, yung joy, yung excitement na binigay ng Lord, sobra to sustain us. Dahil sabi ni Lord, yung, yung unang part, Nung, nung Psalms 30 verse 5, yung galit niya is just for a moment, yung discipline ni Lord. But His favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping, God, ayoko na. Hirap na hirap na po ako. Sabi ni Lord, anak, yung pag-iyak mo niyan ngayong gabi lang. For in the morning, rejoicing comes in the morning. So, Panandalian po, comparing. First uh, Peter 1, verse 6 and 7, In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief of all kinds of trials. In a little while. Little while. Bahagya lang. Panandalian lang you will face trials. Verse 7, This have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith 
of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Yung kapalit naman noon ay genuine faith. Pas yung mga reward ni Lord, yung, yung, yung result, it will result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ returns. So, yung sabi ng ibang mga commentator, dito ay napaka, uh, yung, yung mga salitang ginagamit ni Apostle Paul ay para siyang uh, speech, magaling na speaker. Nasabi naman niya, hindi siya magaling. Eh. Uh, dito po yung mga superlative, yung, yung comparison, greater than, more than, ay paulit-ulit po niyang, yung, yung sinasabi. Yung, yung a moment of trials compared to eternity. Yung eternal reward ng Panginoon. Yung lightness of our trials compared po doon sa weight of the blessings. Sabi, achieving for us eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Yung, <laughs> yung higit po. Yung lightness of our trials and the glory that God prepared for us far outweighs them all. Mas mabigat po yung kaluwalhatian na hinihanda ng Panginoon sa atin. Sinasabi nga natin yung pag malaki yung testing, malaki yung blessing. Pero dito, light yung testing, pero yung glory na inihanda ng Panginoon far outweighs them all. Napakabigat ng blessing na prinipray ng Panginoon. Yung affliction compared to the glory to be revealed. Yung contrast noon ay grabe. Kaya nga nai-endure. Nababata natin yung yung pagsubok because of that expectation that we are awaiting from the Lord, yung glorious life. So, dito po ay paulit-ulit niyang sinasabi yun, sobrang excessive, sobrang exceeding yung piniprepare niya na buhay compare po doon sa dinadaanan natin ngayon. So, we have to cheer up because we are only facing light trials and troubles. We are only facing it momentary compared to eternity that God is preparing for us. Romans 8, 18, ito po ang sabi, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation awaits the eager expectation of the children of God to be revealed. It's not worth comparing. Super. More than. Exceedingly higher po. So, walang salita pong kayang i-describe <laughs> na ubusan si Apostle Paul sa salitang pagkambing po dun sa what awaits us if we endure yung light and momentary troubles that we are facing right now. Sa mga pastor, ang hira po ng, ng nadad, yung limited po yung ating movement. Ngayon po ay dapat fully vaccinated yung maka-attend. Doon po sa experiment sa NCR, ilan na ba yung fully vaccinated sa inyo? Samantalahin po natin yung, yung pagkakataon. Sa atin po sa BCA, so hindi pa po tayo makapag-open, although allowed po yung 10%, pero nakapaloob po dun, anong ibig sabihin? It requires fully vaccinated po ang makakadalong. So, it limits us. Pero, Sa langit po, wala nang limitation eh. <laughs> Amen? So, we have to endure yung mga pagsubok na to. So, ang tanong ko po, ano yung pinakamabigat na pagsubok na dinadaanan mo ngayon? At anong sinasabi ni Lord? It is light. It is just momentary. Sandali lang yan. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. 
Ano ba yung iniiyakan mo? Sobre kang frustrated, even depressed, even losing hope. Wag po. Because God is preparing great things for you and me. Lastly, I, we have to focus on eternal. We don't see what is on the inside of us. We don't see yung mga piniprepare na glorious na inheritance na sinasabi ng Panginoon. So, dito po sa lupa ay everything is temporal. Yung outward, uh, physical, is wasting away, sabi ng ni Apostle Paul. But eternally, we are being renewed day by day. Our health, our wealth, our work, even church, I temporal. And sabi sa verse 18 of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Everything that we see around us is eternal. Temporal. Everything that we see is temporal. But everything that we do not see is, is permanent. And that is hope. Dun po nakatoon yun. We are not in this world. Do you know that? <laughs> we are just, just passing through po. Dumadaan lang po tayo. Our citizenship ay salangit. Tayo po ay uuwi. Doon. So, dapat po ihanda natin yung ating sarili doon po sa ating pupuntahan. Proverbs 4 verse 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and to be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Hebrews 12 verse 2. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. He is the finisher. What he started, he will finish. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Hindi tayo pababayaan ni Lord dito sa ating journey from temporal to eternity. So we have to fix our eyes. Kasi yung temporal things, madali po tayong isway. From right to left. Kaya dapat po naka-focus tayo on Jesus Christ. For the joy set before Him, He endured the cross, scorning it shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Even Jesus, because of the joy that set, is set before Him, He endured. So, tayo po, we have to endure yung yung dinadaanan natin ngayon yung mga pagsubok and with the inner strength that God is giving us makakayanan po natin ito this God is setting for us the blessings and the bliss the joy of heaven na higit po sa kinakaharap natin ngayon sabi ni Apostle po 1 Corinthians 15 verse 9, 19 if only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. So kung ang pag-asa po natin ay hanggang dito lang sa buhay na to, tayo po ay kaawa-awa sa lahat ng tao. Yung lalo na sa ating mga Christians, our faith is futile, walang saisay. Yung ministry, yung evangelism, it's useless. All our efforts is meaningless. Pero praise the Lord. Our hope is not only in this life. Our hope is fixed on what is to come. So church, do not lose heart. Tayo man ay pinanghihinaan, but allow God to renew us day by day from within. Kung sa katawan po, sapat lang yung lakas natin ngayon to face the day. Spiritually speaking is the same. Our spiritual strength is only enough to face the day. So we have to be renewed every day, every day. And we have to be stronger as the days 
go by. Dahil sa alam po natin, palakas ng palakas din ang pagsubok. Pero praise the Lord. Tayo naman ay lumalakas at lumalakas sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Um, develop din po yung ating muscle spiritually. And we mature and we are accomplishing great things for the glory of God. We as believers do not lose heart. Let us continue to live in the hope that God is giving us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just close our eyes and let us pray. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Dahil hindi lang po kami panlabas. We are more on the inside. You are looking at us on the inside. Father, I pray. Maring iba po ay mayroong sakit sa katawan na to. I pray for healing God. And even pray, Lord, that renew even our physical body in order for us to fulfill your will. More on the inside, Lord Holy Spirit, I pray, come. Refresh us on the inside. God, even uh, mentally, Lord, enable us to be strong mentally, emotionally, and most of all, spiritually, God. Let our spirit fight, let our spirit endure the trials that we are facing knowing God with you we can do all things with the strength that you have given us God make us excited for the things that you have in store for us dahil hindi kayang maihambing Panginoon yung hirap namin ngayon dun sa glory that awaits us in your presence. God, help us to fix our eyes on you, knowing that what you have started, you will finish. So God, I pray for your covering upon us as a church. God, in this season that we are facing, help us to look ahead. Make us victorious. God, help us to be strong for our wife, for our family, for your church, for the leadership, for the members, for the attendees of your church. Blessing upon blessing, favor upon favor upon us. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So guys, gusto po namin mag-survey kung sino po sa inyo yung fully vaccinated na kasi ang allowed nga lang po na dumalo sa face-to-face ay fully vaccinated. So mag-enroll po kayo sa ating website. Kung kayo po ay partial pa lang, do the same po at sabihin po ninyo kung kailang kayo ma-fully vaccinated. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Because we know inside us, mayroon tayong immunity in Christ. Amen? So, God bless us all.